Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell Power Edge R6515. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on RAID. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R6515. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, let's hop in. Uh, this video is gonna be specifically dedicated to RAID. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna start by putting up a comparison chart of the different types of compatible RAID. And the comparison chart is gonna show a ton of stuff on there, uh, the RAID levels, uh, if it has cache, the PCIe version, if it's hardware or software, so forth. And again, it's gonna show you all the different compatible RAID for your R6515. So that's what we will start with. Then we're going to show you how to actually install your RAID. And we're going to show you for both types, the mini mono and the PCIe RAID. So we're going to show you how to install both of them. And then at the end, we're actually going to configure RAID 5 and show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to configure RAID. So let's go ahead and hop into the fun stuff. All right, so hope that comparison chart was helpful. I wanted to actually show you a few of them and also show you that the mini mono versus the PCIe, and I'm a big fan of the mini mono because there is a carved out slot back here specifically for it uh, so that you don't have to use the second PCIe slot, which can be used for RAID or for something else, um, which some people might think it's only for RAID. It is not dedicated for RAID only back here for that PCIe slot. Uh, but again, that's why I like the mini mono so that you can use that for an additional network card or something else. So um, this is the HBA3 the H330, the H730, the H730P. You can see these have the cache here versus the H330 and the HBA330. Um, and then we laid out also over here uh, some of the PCIe versions for you. Um, so those are just a, a couple of them to start. So we're going to go ahead and install them right now. And actually, one other thing I did want to point out before we install them, uh, the uh, you need to make sure you have a low profile bracket for the PCIe version. You definitely want to make sure that you have a PCIe bracket for the low profile version. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start our install. We're only going to need uh, one of these cards. So let's go ahead and just do the H730P. So we'll go ahead and pop our latch, just like any Dell you've been in before. All right, so we're going to put our mini mono in. So the first things first, the, uh, the PCB back here, we are going to tuck in back here. And then we are going to take the two holes and line them up with our screw holes. So we're just going to line this up and set this down. And since this one was actually set up for the PCIe RAID, you'll notice there's no cable. Uh, if there was the cable set up for this one, you would literally just, it would come right here, it would just clip down and it would just be two screws and it's very, very simple. And that's how the, um, the mini mono would go. One of the things that's important to note uh, is that there is no interposer uh, with a lot of the 14th gen servers. You needed the interposer in between. Uh, that is gone and there is no interposer and you just put it straight in and you just put your per cable on and you're good to go. So that's how you would install your mini mono. All right, so now if we're gonna install our PCIe version, you'll notice that there is the cable already running here. It will be in riser two that they're going, we're gonna to wanna to do it in. So we are just gonna to wanna to simply lift our riser up. And that's really all we need to do, we're done. No, I'm just kidding. So uh, once we lift our riser up, we need to make sure that we, uh, we clear our uh, bracket out right here and then we're gonna plug this in. And plugging this in is, is relatively simple for the most part. There's a few points of contact to point out. The first one is the green PCB right here will line up with the black plastic. There's a little uh, indention that lets you slide it down. Once you slide it down, there's two points of the leads that will line up here. And you also need to pay attention to the tip will go into this little hole down here. So you just need to line up all four things, which sounds more complicated than it is. It's actually very simple. I'll show you how easy it is. So we'll just line these all up so the first things first up here and then we'll go ahead and just start sliding this down and when you slide this down you just want to make sure you get this in down here and then you'll see that the leads are starting to connect so right here you just want to make sure they go full in you snap it in boom just that easy so all right so now that we have our PCIe card into our um, to our riser. The next step is to go ahead and get your cables in. I'm actually gonna remove our air baffle real quick and get our cables lined up. Slide our cables over here 
and it's definitely a lot easier to put our cables in before we put our riser back down. So all right, make sure it clicks in. And then we're just gonna go ahead and reinstall our riser. And when we reinstall our riser, you're gonna wanna take this black hole right here and line it up and then just come straight down. Make sure everything's nice and flush so that it's fully installed. And that's it, we have officially installed our RAID card. All right, so now we're gonna show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to configure RAID 5 with your 15th gen server. Now, RAID 5 is one of the most common configurations out there. It will require a minimum of three hard drives and do make sure that your controller does support RAID 5. During post, you're gonna to wanna to press F2, and this will take us to system setup. Once you get into system setup, you're gonna to go to device settings. Within device settings, you're gonna find the hardware that's installed in your server. Here you will select your desired RAID controller. Select main menu. In the main menu, you're gonna select configuration management and go down to create virtual disk. So what we wanna do now is select the RAID level that we want. In this case, we're gonna select RAID 5. We're gonna leave unconfigured capacity selected. So now we're gonna click on select physical disks. On this menu, check both for the select media type option. Then we're gonna select all the drives that we wanna configure in our RAID. Select apply changes, then click OK. On the Create Virtual Disk menu, click on Create Virtual Disk. Click on the Confirm box and click on Yes, and then OK. To confirm the RAID was created, head back to the main menu, then select Virtual Disk Management. And you'll find here that we've configured RAID 5 to our virtual disks. Congratulations, you've successfully configured RAID 5. Well, hey, if you found this video helpful, do us a favor, click that like, smash that subscribe, and if you're looking for any custom built Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we would love the opportunity to earn your data center or earn your home lab's business, please email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Take care.